I'm Robert Harbin, Minister of Economic Affairs and Climate Action in Germany. It's so good to be here. It's yeah. so, so good to be here. Our president. Yes, please. Yes, thank you very much. Hello, ma'am. Oh, it's not Robert Harbin. Hi. Nice to meet you. Please, please, please. Thank you very much. Oh. Thanks a lot. Thank you. So, uh, this is Namibia House. <laughs> so, welcome to Namibia House. He was talking too much about you. We want to hear from you yourself now. Firstly, uh, we are glad to meet. And as we are starting new administration, it's good that we start. Nothing was wrong in the past, but we should now move on. Time has come that we can really move on. We are now talking about this green hydrogen that already put us in touch. That we have to move on. We need to move on because to, some of us are leaving to prepare the way for those who are coming. But we leave something for the posterity. So, welcome. Yeah, thank you very much. And uh, we had a meeting in Berlin, like, let's say, four, five weeks ago. Yeah, that was in March. That was in March, and yeah, it was yeah. very open, very intense, and very friendly discussion. So, I'm really, really glad that you made it possible that we can meet, we could meet today as well. And, um, well, it's uh, good to hear how much Namibia is moving forward and how intense the co cooperation with Europe and Germany in Europe could be. Um, you know that my country, Germany, is moving to climate neutrality very, very fast. But, of course, we are a strong economy in Europe. We need a lot of energy. We will produce a lot of energy. But we need energy partnerships, otherwise our, our own ambitious plan wouldn't work. But of course we can also offer something, investment, firms, knowledge. So I'm looking forward to a very, very fruitful conversation today and partnership for the future. I also thank you already in that uh, regard, the scholarships and the money that you already pledged to prepare actually for that future. So thank you very much. And other assistance we've been getting because we had a very serious situation. COVID, I mean, is COVID-19 doesn't make it, it doesn't discriminate against races or countries. We are all equally affected. So, for some kind of advance, help us. So, thank you very much. You are among them. So thank you very much. Yeah, Your, your, your Excellency. I mean, um, Mr. Habeck, when we met uh, in, uh, in Berlin in, in March. What he did not say is that, you know, we all agree to say, uh, when we started off with the uh, discussion of green hydrogen, it, it kind of was a concept, it was, a, it was uh, something we were thinking about. But now the time has come for us to say, it has to be now something practical. Um, uh, and therefore, we are going to do something, there must be an offtake, and he has agreed to say at some point, hopefully uh, by November, he will come to Namibia. We should bring, you know, uh, the industry people who will be the consumer of the green hydrogen. And that's really a practical step to say it's not only just talking about it, it's really happening that you know, this, is, uh, this is a good step. And this is going to happen as far as I know. We, if, 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 it's, uh, if you want me, I will come in November to Namibia. And uh, the plan is to bring. It's the beginning because towards the end, that place is closed. We copied that from you. <laughs> <laughs> People go to Swagop Moon. <laughs> coming in December and then bring the ones who are signing the contract. So I think yeah. if we we do our job, we will establish a framework, a partnership framework under which umbrella all the companies then can make the arrangements they need. And I can tell you, our meeting, the discussion we had that um, was very, very fruitful. A lot of people, they are really keen to come with me to Namibia. And um, well, I mentioned it before, in Germany we have the steel company, we have the chemical industry, we have concrete industry, we still have, um, our plan is to let the country run by renewables, mainly wind and solar, but of course there's the night and the sun doesn't shine and uh, sometimes there are periods with no wind, so we need also hydrogen for the electric system. And well, I know that it's, it's Namibia is a beautiful landscape, and I guess you have to be as 
uh, careful as I have to be in my country. So you can't plaster windmills all over the place, I guess. But still, if you find the right places and only some amount of your coastline, still you have incredible good conditions. So I think it could also boost the median economy and well, maybe I can, can say well, I Environmental know. protection is enshrined in our constitution. Yeah. One of the first constitutions and to it talk has about. To be, and it so has to be. we have to preserve our environment here. Yeah. Yes. And, and uh, Excellency, also what we also then have agreed in terms of the um, declaration that we have signed, uh, obviously this is it's an industry, the technology is developing, and therefore we also agree to say we need then to, to ensure that this, both German and Namibia developed technology uh, get used into this. Into this. Um, and also, of course, the, the necessary research and development going forward. This is something that we, we also agree to cooperate. Uh, so that this is not only Namibia producing energy with, and getting uh, energy and selling, and getting it. selling no. it to somebody else, but at least uh, it has to mean something for, for, for the economy. Which is, so if you ask me, I want to have a real partnership with benefit for both sides and um, I mean our countries, they have a history and not a good one from the German point of view, we should do better and be real partners and, and not, if you have any, any time the feeling that anything we're doing is some kind of buying out Namibia, the so it's some kind of, let's say, it imperial touch. Just please let me know. I don't want to make a mistake. And never again will I have German companies of Germany in Namibia doing, giving you a bad feeling. So quite, quite, quite honest. You also, also on a personal level, you have to give me. Hey, say, Robert. Okay, this wasn't, this wasn't pronounced the right way. It's not good. There you made, or this company or this business leader made a mistake. But on the other hand establish a true partnership with benefits for both sides and also for the Namibian side and protecting the environment and producing renewable energy, this could also be a tremendous story of success. It would be a wrong way to say the companies were not doing the right thing. The thing that we are disagreeing may be helping but something else, historical one, in which we also made quite good progress. So I think now is to move forward. Talking period is now over and we really want to do something in the country that will go to this next generation because there was a division, some people were left out, there comes a land question and so on. So we really want to engage companies that are willing to, to create a win-win situation and that we can also develop our own country. Not that the countries from Germany or so are not doing a good job. No, they did a great job. They were disagreeing earlier in on the other historical aspect, which we are separating from investment and bilateral cooperation. Right. So, um, do you have the feeling that the preparations for my visit in December, then, as I know, they are they are coming forward? Do you have established their contact? Is it you, you are nodding your head? That's yeah. fine. Yeah. So there the are already teams. I think I know now. On the Dutch talking about this, already making those preparations. So there's no reason why they should not proceed. Mm -hmm. so. I've just one. It must be before 15th of December. Yeah. After that, the country is dead. Christmas, Christmas holiday starts. Yeah, okay. But like the German holiday in June, July? The, the, the holiday starts on the 15th of December? Around that time. Okay. Yeah. Some start earlier, I don't like it. And then what? Where are the Namibian people are going to? Swakop, Swakop. Before it was just Swakop Moon, Swakop Moon. Now, everywhere. The north, we would develop things there, so people go there. So they live Bentuk, that's the point. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I hope, I mean, energy questions and our job, this is very important, but I hope that I can see some part of your country as well. So yeah, I've never been there. That's a time and, to come. Uh, 